Hello YouTube, I'm Dawn and welcome to Double D Homestead Kitchen. And I'm dropping stuff over here. And today I'm gonna show you how to make Mark's grandma's barbecued meatloaf. Come on in here and I'll show you how to do this. So to get started, you're gonna need one to two pounds of ground beef. I'm doing two pounds, believe it or not, tonight. We're having company. So I thought I'd make this meatloaf. And the first thing I'm gonna do, now the original recipe calls for two eight ounce cans. I have a 15 ounce can, right? Yep, 15. This is gonna, this will work. This is perfectly fine. So I'm gonna put half of this can in here to start. Cause we're gonna need the other half. And I'm gonna put in an egg. And this is just a basic easy meatloaf. It's super tasty. A teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. The equivalent, because I forgot to buy onions again today. I had a few frozen left, and I've got some dehydrated onion. One small to medium onion, and one cup of oatmeal or breadcrumbs. I always use oatmeal, works great. Whatever you prefer. And then I'm just gonna get my hands in here and mix this up good. And now that I have it mixed good, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in here and form it into a loaf. Just like so, give it a little loving. It's been bad, give it a little spanking. And get it all nice and tight so our meatloaf don't fall apart. And what I like to do after I get my loaf formed, and I'm sure some of you do this too. I like to put a little trench in the middle so that sauce we're gonna make gets in there, just like that, and gets down in there, and oh, so good. All right, so what makes this meatloaf so yummy is we're gonna take a glass of one cup of water. So now we're gonna make the sauce, and you'll need a cup of water, the rest of your tomato sauce, and you can actually put the water in here and rinse your can out and get every drop if you so choose to, and I usually do, and I just forgot to be real honest with you. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in there. I've got two tablespoons of yellow mustard, and I've actually made this and put it over pulled pork, and it was good that way too. Three tablespoons of white vinegar, Three tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm using dark brown. You can use whatever brown sugar you have. And two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. And if I'm not saying that right, the world will not end. <laughs> and we're just gonna mix this up real well with a whisk like so. Just a like of that there. And we're gonna just pour this on this meatloaf. And this is gonna get baked at 350 for an hour and 15 minutes until it's done. Maybe a few minutes more in your oven. And there it is. I'll be back when it's ready. And here it is. This is, you could, I wish you could smell my kitchen right now. It smells amazing. This is so good. And here it is plated up. Mmm, look at that. This is such a good meatloaf. I hope you give this recipe a try, y'all. And with that, I made some green beans and with fresh taters out of the garden and some hash brown casserole. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. Y'all take care and God bless y'all.